Hey, how's it going? Well, for those of you that recognize me, hello, it's me. Um, but you know what? I was actually um, thinking about making some videos about some of the things that I'm doing. And um, not that I want to share with the world my business or anything like that, but um, one of the things that I haven't told a lot of my friends, my close friends, is what I'm actually doing. And um, I'm currently in training to um, be a prosecuting environmental lawyer. And um, in particular, looking at ways to litigate um, environmental justice injustices related to murders and attempted murders through the NAFTA tribunal. So it's a very complex um, way of looking at addressing very serious environmental legal issues. And um, sometimes I do some work with a judge and um, one of the best judges in the world. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you is just to um, convey the message that I'd like to just hear some feedback about um, how people have conceived um, environmental justice in Canada. I'm speaking from a Canadian context because there seems to be some misperception out there that environmental justice only exists in the United States when, for example, um, there are issues of like Katrina, there's issues of, you know, communities being exposed to different chemical hazards, but that same thing happens here in Canada too. So. Um, one of the things that I question in just daily reading of the news, and quite frankly I don't buy any newspapers, I actually go on to look at maybe, I don't know, sometimes 300 different versions of an issue to find out what exactly the issue is. So I'm a little bit of a paper rat, but um, I also go and look at different ways to get information. And um, one of the things that was really interesting was that there's not a lot of environmental reporting here in Canada. So the conception out there, I guess, in the world out there is that um, everything is okay here in Canada. And it's not. We have a lot of issues, especially with respect to environmental injustices. So it took me a while to think about whether or not I wanted to show my face on camera, whether I need to wear my glasses or take them off or you know, just talk about ideas, and um, one of the things was that um, I have received a lot of feedback from individuals saying, you know what, you need to just show your face on camera, and I don't think I really need to show my face, I think I just need to maybe engage with some of my ideas, which that also has been said too, so this is my first video, um, and even though it may seem a little corny, um, well, I'm sorry, we'll just have to watch it or don't watch it. I mean, you have that option, right? So, um, but yeah, one of the things that I was just interested in was um, looking at environmental justice as it relates to the NAFTA region and um, looking at ways to litigate that through the NAFTA tribunal. And um, I haven't read any court cases about that recently, so that certainly is influencing a lot of my particular research that I'm doing. And um, it's really interesting, like, within the whole lawyering, you know, field, um, I think for individuals that are not familiar with it should really ask lawyers why they are in the field, because it just seems like there's a lot that just don't want to do any work, and there are some really good ones out there that do a lot of phenomenal work. So. Um, not that I want this to be about something about, you know, saying that my social class is whatever, but more or less it's just about to speak about the context of, sorry, I'm putting my glasses back on so I can see a little bit of the world. Um, yeah, just to talk about environmental justice as it relates to um, Canada and what's happening with environmental justice trends in Canada. So um, just just a little while ago, I was just writing a piece about um, you know just that whole issue of why there isn't this reporting on environmental injustices. So um, I'm also going to take on you know some of that and sharing more of that in different ways. So um, yeah, this is my first video, 
and um, I'd like to actually hear your comments about what you think about environmental justice in Canada. What have you heard about it? What don't you hear about it? What would you like to hear about it? And this won't necessarily shape the way that I conceptualize environmental justice, although it's important to note that I do engage with how the community experiences um, environmental injustices. So. Um, I will be reading comments. I may not be able to respond to comments because I get pretty busy sometimes. Well, I'm busy all the time, but I have to make time for myself. That's something I don't do enough of. So I think maybe, you know, just creating some videos occasionally will help get me out of this sort of academic box that I've been in. Okay, so anyways, um, thanks for listening. And I'd really appreciate your comments, and this is my first video, so don't laugh, um, and I won't fluff it up either. I may use profanity, but, you know, if that offends you, oh well, just put cotton in your ears or something. But, um, I want to hear your comments about what you have heard about environmental justice in Canada. Does it is exist? Um, I've seen a lot about environmental justice movements in the United States and um, would like to hear more from your comments, okay? So thanks for listening, and have yourself a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wonderful morning, wonderful night, wonderful, wonder wonderful, okay? Thanks.